I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can make the perfect gift for anybody. I'm talking about gift hampers. Gift hampers are an absolutely amazing present for anyone because you can fill them with whatever you want and really tailor them to the person you've given a gift to. You can make gift hampers for any occasion, be it birthday, Christmases, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anything, anniversaries, Valentine's Day, absolutely anything. Today I'm making two gift hampers. One is for my mum and one is for my mother-in-law. They are both very different people, so their gift hampers are very different in their content. But that's the beauty of a gift hamper. You can put what you want in it. So I'm gonna show you how I make them today. So to begin with, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna put in them and, and what I've bought, and then I'm gonna show you how I make them. To start with, I've got this basket to put it all in. I bought this in pound band, and it, yes, it just cost me one pound, and I've bought one of those for each of them. The main thing that I'm putting in my mum's gift hamper is this Peels gift set. This wasn't intended to be a gift set, this was just an eye cream. Bless her, my mum said to me, I really want a new eye cream, and I said, okay, what do you want it to do? Do you want a, a day eye cream? Do you want something you can put on overnight? Do you want it to be anti-aging? Do you want it to be moisturising? What do you want? And she just said, I don't know, I just want a good eye cream, I just want something nice. You'll know, if you pick something out, you'll know something nice. I didn't really have a lot to work with. All I knew is that she wanted a nice eye cream. I went into Debenhams and they had a sale on and I was toying between buying her the Kiehl's eye cream and the LMS anti-aging eye cream. They're both the same price, they're both £38. And we spoke to the shop assistant in Kiehl's who was really, really nice and we said to him, we're looking for this eye cream for our mum. She doesn't really know what she wants, she just wants a nice eye cream. So he goes into shop assistant mode, what's her skin type, what sort of thing does she wear, does she wear a lot of makeup, does she like simple stuff, blah blah blah. So we told her everything about my mum. In the meantime, he's rummaging around in drawers, getting pieces out, getting bottles out, saying does she wear moisturiser, does she use hand cream, all this sorts of stuff. And he comes back and puts everything in a box for her. So anyway, that's become the focus of my gift camera. Then we have bought her this beautiful gift set of Giorgio Armani perfumes. So these are beautiful because they're small enough that she can just put them in her handbag. Even when you're just going out for dinner, you can just take one with you. Um, and they're four different ones, so that's really nice. These normally come out around Christmas time in their gift sets, so we were really lucky to get this. Um, me and Charlotte went into about 10 different perfume shops and said, what gift sets do you have left over from Christmas? And they all had different ones, but not very many. So as the year goes on, you might not be able to get hold of these. The next thing that we've bought to put in this gift hamper is a tangle teaser. I use a tangle teaser, I have very long hair, and especially when it's wet, it gets very, very knotty and very matted. And I swear by my tangle teaser, if you don't have one, you need to get one. It's really, really gentle and it doesn't pull and it doesn't hurt and you can even use it on wet hair and it doesn't damage your hair. So my mum wanted one of those, so I'm gonna put that in the hamper. Next thing we decided to put in is some fluffy socks because everybody likes a touch of luxury and everybody likes soft, fluffy socks. Next thing we bought to put in the hamper is these Hotel Chocolat Patisserie Collection selection pack because everybody needs some nice luxury chocolate in their hamper. Next thing we're putting in is this Estee Lauder eyeshadow. This is the same shade that I wear. I bought this just before my wedding to wear on my wedding day, but she's never bought it for herself because I think she thinks she sees it as my shade. But I don't mind, so I've bought her this, which I'm gonna put in her hamper. And the last thing I'm gonna add into her hamper are these Maltesers truffles. She absolutely loves Maltesers truffles, and these are individually wrapped, so what I plan on doing is just sprinkling them in the hamper rather than putting the box in because I've already got these chocolates which are like in a packet as a main gift. These are just decoration. So that is everything that I'm putting in my mum's gift hamper. That is from me and Charlotte. So now I'm gonna go on and show you what I'm gonna put in my mother-in-law's gift hamper. So the theme is similar with my mother-in-law's hamper. Um, 
First of all, we found this Vera Wang Embrace gift set. That's quite big, so that's probably gonna sit right at the back of the hamper and be the main feature. We also went to Hotel Chocola and Andy chose this for her, which is Super Milk Earl Grey. She loves Earl Grey tea. I don't know how this is gonna taste, but that's going in the hamper. Next, because it's Mother's Day, Andy really wanted to choose a mum mug for her. So we chose this, which I think came from Home Bargains and it was only about £1.79, something like that. She'll really appreciate this one, she'll like that. Similar to what we got my mum, we've also got my mother-in-law some socks. My mother-in-law doesn't really wear fluffy socks very much, but she owns her own boat. And sometimes when she is on the boat, it can get very cold out there. So these are thick ribbed socks, which she will probably wear all year round. Next, we went to Body Shop and I got this almond hand and nail set. And what's in here is quite simple really. It's just an almond hand cream and a nail file. But it comes with a little gift box, so it just looks a bit nicer. It looks a bit more gifty and whilst we were in body shop we also picked up these Fuji green tea shampoo and conditioner they look so cute so they're going in the hamper and lastly I didn't get a box of chocolates to sprinkle in my mother-in-law's hamper because she's not a big chocolate eater I know we've bought her this Earl Grey um, chocolate bar but that's just something a bit different but she does like her bath, so instead, while we were in Body Shop, I bought these individual bath bombs. There's a green tea one, coconut one, moringa one, and a mango bath bomb. And because these are individually wrapped, just like I'm gonna do with the chocolates, I'm just gonna sprinkle these in the gift hamper so that they look really pretty. And that is everything that is going in my basket. So I'm now gonna show you how I make them. I've got some cellophane wrap to wrap them all in and some bows to put on them. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because I've never cellophane wrapped anything in my life before. But I'm gonna give it a go. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright can't wait to give them. As always, please give it a thumbs up, like this video and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what you think and I'll see you all soon.